Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 898. My name is Christine and on today's episode I'm showing you some Hero Art stamps and their neon ink pads. Today I am showing you some fun products from Hero Arts and I am loving these neon inks. We have the yellow, pink, orange and then green, blue and purple. So they're nice and bright and fun to use. I also have some new stamp sets. This one is Notebook Essentials. And this one is Arrows and Borders. And then I have this great background. It's a chalkboard background. So those are the three stamp sets I am using today. So I did a couple art journal pages and I want to show you both of them at once because this was the page I actually was doing. And so what I did was I took this chalkboard background and I just inked up areas of it and then just rolled it and smooshed it onto the page. So you can see we've got pink and blue and orange, different colors happening. But once I was done inking this, I then took it and laid it out and got the rest of the ink off here. So you can see all these sort of soft squares of color in the background here. Then I decided I wanted to use all the different colors ink and stamp the different borders just going down the page. But once I stamped the purple once, I stamped it off on this page. And then the pink, you can see here, I stamped off the pink. So I kept doing that um, I would stamp here once and then I would stamp here until the ink was completely off my stamp. So I was basically creating the two pages at once. Then I used my arrows down here for journaling lines. And to finish this page off, I used some of the borders in the different colors to make the borders. And then I used these circles and squares to write my little journaling bits in. So I just wanted to show how um, I'm able to create two pages with the same ink without wasting any ink in between. Now, of course, you can make cards with uh, these great stamp sets. So what I did is I took that chalkboard background, but just because it's chalkboard doesn't mean you have to do it in black or gray. So I did it in orange and you can see how it just gives that nice uh, look to the ink in the background. It's not a solid orange. There's like more white here and less orange here and dark orange there. And it gives that nice background. Then in this one, I stamped with orange right over top um, with the little, which one was it? Here we go, the little hexagon. And I just lined it up and just stamped in a row. Then I took here my little square and heart and stamped it, but I found on its own it was a little weak in a way. So I took my black pen and I just doodled around it to make it a bit more powerful and more uh, focal. And then I took one of my favorite birthday stamp sets. It's your day, I think it is called. It's your day that has lots of birthday greetings and stamped a birthday greeting on it. And then I took the pink ink pad and just went around the edge just to give it that border. So here I started making this card and I did the same orange background. And then this time I used this little zigzag here and did it in pink. And I went this way down my card. And then what I've done is I stamped this here. This is an older stamp set called um, Messages. And it has you're so special, thank you, and then this just saying hello one. So I stamped it in three different colors and then I can choose, do I like um, the orange? Do I like the pink? And then I just did the blue as well to test it out. I'm thinking sort of the pink I like. But that's what you can do as well if you stamp on another piece and then add it on and I could put some dimensionals on that and add it on and just like that, I have a cute little card. So 
So I have this background here. And this time I'm going to stamp on to show you how I make that background. Actually, I think I'm going to use these cute dots here. So you can see how the chalk background gives you that look where, you know, we have more white here, darker there. And so I like that. It's a nice way to add ink to your card um, without it just being a solid block of color. And even though orange and purple may not go the best, I'm going to give it a try. So when I'm stamping, I like to apply ink to my stamp like this and then with the clear stamps it's great you can look through see where it is and stamp it down now this time I want to shift it a bit because I don't want that big circle to go all the way down the page so I don't have a lot of room but what I could do actually is just stamp half the stamp there and then come to this side and stamp it again. So then you can keep shifting it And then that way you won't get that, uh, it'll make it look more of an all over background. You can even turn it the other side so your uh, dots are all over. So this is a great way you can sort of make your own background stamp using all the borders you have in your stash. And then once it gets so far down, you can do the other full row again. I am just mixing up how far over I go. And you just carry on like that until your card is covered. So I'm going to cover the rest of my card and then I'll show you um, the finished product. So I have finished my stamping. So it looks like I had actually used like a background stamp. So as I mentioned before, this is a great way to get a background pattern using your borders. Now I do recommend that you start with a stamp like this where it's sort of all over the place versus um, one of these that I did where you have to match up your lines or your little hexagons in that because you have to be more exact when you're doing these ones. So if you have one like this where it's so more random will be an easier way to start and test out that technique. So check out Hero Arts, Neon Inks and some new stamps. Well that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca and on our next episode, I'm showing you some new products from Lawn Fawn Stamps for the holidays. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.